A WWT News special, The People Here at Home, continues. It's easy to get caught up in our own life's bubble. Sometimes it helps just to step back for perspective. Here are three examples of that. On April 12, 1955, the results were announced. Dr. Jonas Salk had discovered a safe and effective vaccine for polio. It was three years too late for Edward Ted Roche. Ted was one of close to 60,000 people who contracted the disease in 1952. He viewed the unfortunate timing as a blessing. Uh, and I was 14 at the time, which was a pretty good age to be if you're going to have something like that happen to you because you're young and you're resilient and, and you, you bounce back. Ted did bounce back. I'm an artist who expresses himself through photography. A team Jones spends a lot of time downtown. Pardon me, sir. Could I take your uh, photo? What sets him apart? He finds the essence, the likeness of people he doesn't even know, people that are willing to be photographed and have their story told through a lens. When people look at my photograph, I want them to see the real person. There's nothing like people and there's nothing like a face. A face is the most formative part of the human body. So we flush the bag. Pull, get it by the seams here to straighten it out. Inside Faith Westwood United Methodist Church, this group of people <laughs> come together weekly 18, 19. to turn plastic bags. This is um, Walmart. This is uh, Fairway. Into much more. They're thick and they're actually comfortable if you were to lie on them. Mats for those who need them most. They bless them and deliver them to shelters for those without homes to sleep on. Thousands have been made, but one woman. Well, Marilyn, how long does it take to do a mat? Can lay claim to more than anyone else. They tell me I've done 248. I don't keep track. To see the full stories, go to WWT.com anytime and click the People Here at Home icon. Back with more after this.